Gibraltar has been famous for Neanderthal finds for over 150 years. I've got here a replica of the skull that was blasted out of a quarry in 1848. So the rock of Gibraltar is made of limestone, it's full of caves, and some of those caves have evidence of Neanderthals. Here we've got some examples of stone tools from Gibraltar and here's a core, uh, probably a very large beach pebble and this has been used as a core to knock off flakes. Um, there's one large flake here been knocked off and then more flakes have been removed and the Neanderthals then use these flakes for cutting surfaces. So in some cases they just were producing something like a knife for cutting and butchering. Um, and in this case, and this is actually from another site, not from Gibraltar, but this shows a nice Neanderthal point, or in this case, it's actually been retouched along here as a scraping tool. At these sites in Gibraltar, we've got rare preservation of uh, plant materials, so bits of seeds, such as pine, pine nuts, they're eating those. Um, and also, of course, we've got evidence of small mammals being exploited, such as rabbits, tortoise, they seem to have eaten baked tortoise at times. And of course, particularly the subject of this research, we've got evidence that they were exploiting marine resources. And that's something which generally has been thought to be exclusive to modern humans. But we know that the Neanderthals in Gibraltar were uh, eating shellfish, and at times, certainly, they were eating marine mammals. So we've got remains of seal and dolphin in these Neanderthal occupation levels. At the time that the Neanderthals were living in Gibraltar, the sea level was often much lower, sometimes down to 100 metres lower than it is today. And there would have been sand dunes and vegetation in front, and then the sea some distance away a river flowing into the sea in the north. So there was a range of environments there. And these caves would have been good places for the Neanderthals obviously to shelter, but also to overlook that coastal plain and look where their next meal was coming from. I think what's really important about the Gibraltar finds is it shows us that Neanderthals were not just you know, big game hunters and big meat eaters. They were excellent hunter gatherers and foragers. They knew their local environment very well. They knew how to extract the food they required from that environment, including from the sea.